we go. Okay, so the notes that we had yesterday, we had inverse sine, it had to be between negative pi over two, and positive pi over two, and we had the picture of the right side of the unit circle. For inverse cosine, it's gotta be between zero and pi. For that, we had the top half of the unit circle, and for inverse tangent, we had to be between, I think I used the two, between pi over two and negative pi over two, not including the two, no. okay? And we had the right side, but I had open dots there, okay? Now, I think I said this yesterday, I'm gonna say it again though. If you're sitting there going, man, I, I don't know if I can memorize all this, I'm just gonna memorize these little pictures. These little pictures will help, it's not good enough though. And I'm gonna show you why here in a few minutes, okay? So, if I was to give you this, I'm just gonna make about two or three examples, and then we're gonna dive into the assignment. If I was to ask you um, this, okay, on your assignment, what I would really, I'm very likely, I'll tell you what, on your next test, very likely, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on, your, on a test, and I'm going to say, read, write in words what this says, and then also what it means, okay? I mean, so for example, you say, well, in words, uh, sine to the negative first power of a half, I'm going to say, no, that's not it, okay? What, the way you read this is sine. the inverse sine of one half. That's what it says, the inverse sine of one half, okay? Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? That's it says the sine of what angle is a half, okay? That's how you read it. That's what it means, okay? The sine of what angle is a half? Now, we did a couple of these yesterday at the end of class. You look at your unit circle, okay? There are two spots on your unit circle where sine is one half. And what are they? 30 degrees and 150 degrees. 30 degrees and 150 degrees, okay? Are both of those, do you need both of those? No. no. If you put both of those, they're, both, they're wrong, okay? Only one of them is acceptable, okay? Which one do we keep, 30 or 50? 30, what's wrong with 150? It's on the left hand side. For inverse sine, you're only allowed to look at the right hand side. Now, one more thing, okay? I want it to be in radians, okay? So not 30 degrees, but pi over six, okay? Now, do you need to write both of them and then cross one out and then make it in the radians? No, you don't, okay? Why did I do it? I did it to show you that there are two angles that fit that description, but only one of them actually counts, okay? You just put pi over six, that's fine. Okay, let's try a couple more. If I gave you this, let's do, um, uh, okay, so again, very, again, very likely on your next test, the first question might be, it'll be it'll, something like that, it'll say, read, write down what this is and what does it mean. So what it says is the inverse cosine of radical three over two. And what that means is, the cosine of what angle is radical three over two? There are two spots where cosine is radical three over two. Is it 30 and one, or 30 and what? 330. And 330, 330 degrees and 330. Which one are we not gonna count? 330. Why, they're both on the right. But it's not. Inverse cosine is the top half. We cross off 330. Yeah, you don't have to do them. If you just wanna write pi over six, that's good. That's good, okay? Now, Here's where it starts getting tricky. You're sitting there going, these are easy. These are a piece of cake. These aren't hard at all, Kale. Okay? I mean, because really, once you get it, we talked about this yesterday, all we're doing is before, yeah, I if I give you this right here, I mean, we all know this is all the tangent of 60. Tangent of 60, okay? Well, what, is, what information did I give you? I gave you the angle. I said 60 degrees, and I asked you for the what? The tangent. I gave you the angle. I asked you for the trig function. Here, I'm giving you the trig function and asking for the angle. We're just working backwards. That's all it is. We're going in reverse, okay? So, this is where it gets tricky. If I give you something like this, the inverse tangent of negative one, okay? Okay, the inverse tangent of negative one. This is a tougher one, okay? Um, there's two spots where tangent is negative one. Where at? 120. 100, 120? 130. 135 
15. Which one are we going to cross off? 135, because for inverse tangent, you have to look at the right side, and 135 is on the left side, okay? But I want it in radians. 7 pi over 7 pi over what? 6? Or, or, or no. 7 pi over 4, sorry. Okay. This is where it gets tricky. That's wrong. We're not doing anything wrong yet, but 7 pi over 4 is wrong, okay? Now, we've already answered this once, okay? Be strong here, okay? Are we looking in the right spot? When you say 7 pi over 4, are we looking in the right spot? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. Why? Because it's where? It's on the right side. 7 pi over 4 is on the right side. So if you're going, so I don't get it. What's wrong with the answer? We're looking in the right spot. You're looking in the right because spot. Because it's an open dot? Not because it's an open dot. Forget the pies, okay? I told you this picture helps. It's not everything, though, okay? Your angle's got to be between 7, it's got, it's got to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And 7 fourths pi is what? What? It's bigger. It's, it's supposed to be between. So again, are we looking in the right spot? Yes, we are. What you need to understand is that angle is too big. 7 fourths is bigger than a half. Okay? So what you need to understand is this. You guys went like this. You went all the way around here to 315 degrees. What's another way you could have got there? Just went back. Went back that way. Okay. How far back did you go? Instead of going 315 degrees around, you went 45 the other way. Negative what? Negative pi over 4. Is that acceptable? Yes. Why? Negative one fourth is what? It's between them. Okay. Is that kind of like the graph? How you just take out as much as you can, take out as much as you can, like with the sine graph you did yesterday. That's what you're asking. Yeah. You erase it. Yeah. Is that kind of like what you did there? No, we're just renaming it. You're, we're still okay. If I told you, do me a favor. This may sound like I'm treating like kids here, but I'm not. Okay. Well, I kind of am, but. Take your finger and point at seven, at 7 pi over 4. Literally, point at it. Now, take your finger off and point at negative pi over 4. Where are you pointing at? Same the same spot. Okay? So we're just renaming it a different way, okay? Because, again, saying it's on the right-hand side, that's good. It's not good enough. You have to also have it between positive 1 half and negative 1 half pi's. And 7 fourths is too big. Okay? Now... I want to make sure you guys understand. Was pi over 6 acceptable for inverse cosine? Yes. Because 1 sixth is between 0 and 1 pi. Okay? So that's where it gets a little trickier. Okay? It's a little bit trickier. All right. So let me get the worksheet out to you guys. And what we're going to do, what we're doing right now, it's, it's just the problem we're going to do is just more of the same stuff. And once you get this, this stuff's really easy. But there's something that we still haven't talked about in this section. We're not going to even talk about it today, okay? We'll do that uh, on Thursday. It gets a little tougher, a little bit tougher. So, let's do this. Here, first off, we'll cross off numbers 25 through 36. 25 through 36. We're not going to do those at all, okay? And if you really want to, you can cross off 61 to the end, okay? 61 to the end. So today, we're just going to do 13 through 24, okay? That's what, uh, 12 problems. I'm going to do six with you guys, and you guys do six of them on your own. So let's look at number 13. Okay, so it says this. So we're not doing 9, 11, 10, 12. Nope, we're just starting with number 13, yep. Cross off 9 through 12 also if you want. Okay, so I would suggest this. I'm not going to make you do this, but again, it's going to be a question on your next test. I would write down what this question is asking, okay? If you want to write down what it says and then what it's asking, you can do that, but it's basically the same thing, okay? So, I mean, how do I, it says the inverse sine of 0. What does that mean? What angle? What, okay, what angle? 
what? Has sine. Has sine zero. of zero? Is zero. is zero or equal zero. What angle has a sine equal to zero? Okay, so sine is zero at, uh, hang on a second here, zero at, well, you said zero or 360, okay? Now, I'm glad you said that. I think that's fantastic you said that. Zero or 360. Now, are you, are you looking in the right spot there's if you say zero? There's also 180. Okay, what's wrong with 180? Uh, oh, yeah, it's on the left side. It's on the left side. So are you okay with looking at both zero and 360? I mean, zero and 360 are the same spot. Does it matter yeah. which one we, yes, it does. Is it zero or is it 360? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's put it radians. Zero is how many radians? 360 is how many radians? Two pi. Two pi. Is it zero oh, or two pi? It has to be zero because two pi what? Negative. Greater than what? Pi it's got to be between negative pi over two and positive pi over two. Two pi is too big. So you're going to go this way, like um, up 90 degrees or down negative 90 degrees first time? Yep. Like yep. Yeah. Right. So it's got to be zero. Okay. Two pi is too big. 15. Inverse sine of negative one. And also, just so you understand, they put negative one in parentheses because if you do this, it says the inverse sine minus one. That doesn't make sense. It's kind of like saying this. If I told you to grab a calculator and said, take the square root, then minus five. Well, the square root of what, okay? So it's the inverse sine of negative one. So again, what they're saying is what angle has a sine equal to negative one, okay? Now, what I would like you to do is this. We're going to do it the long way. The long way is not very long, okay? When you look on your unit circle, what angle in radians does it have written on your unit circle where sine is negative 1? I want, to see, I want you to tell me what it says on your paper. Pi over 2. Huh? It says pi over 2. Negative 1. Or negative 1. 3 pi over 2. I'm going to write that down. Now, is that a, are you looking in the right spot? Yeah, why? It's, it's on the right side, including that part right there. It's on the right side, okay? Is 3 pi over 2 acceptable? No. Why? It's too big. It's greater than pi over 2. So you need to, here's what, I haven't said this yet, I don't think. If you are looking in the right spot and the angle doesn't fit in between the interval, you need to rename it. Rename it another way. Another way of saying, another way of saying, all the way around 3 pi over 2 is the same as back how far? But I want radians. Negative pi over 2. Is that okay? Yeah. Because negative half is in between there, inclusive. Okay? See, that's what I was saying. You can't just look at the pictures. That's not good enough, okay? It's good enough a lot of the time, but not always. Okay? Let's look at 17. Okay, inverse tangent of zero. Okay, so this is saying the tangent of what angle equals zero. Okay, so if tangent is zero, zero. I want to know what angle has a tangent of zero. Zero and, one hundred. Zero and what? One hundred. Zero and 180 degrees. Do we want both of them? Only which one? Yeah. What's wrong with 180? It's on, the right side. it's on the wrong side. You're not allowed to look at the left-hand side from inverse tangent. So zero, zero radians. And is that an acceptable answer? Is zero okay? Yeah. Why? It's between negative half and positive half pi. Okay. So the only difference between those two is sine can be equal to those. Right. And the only reason why we don't do that is because it's undefined. Okay, there is no answer. Okay, so it's a real subtle difference. Okay, inverse sine of x over two. Okay, so the sine. I'm sorry. The sine of what angle? Equals radical two over two. Okay, there are two spots on a unit circle where sine is radical two over two. 45 degrees and 135 degrees. 
Okay. Are, are both of those okay to look at, or is one of them? Are we, are we gonna cross off 45 or keep 45? 45. Keep, 45. keep 45, cross off 135, it's on the wrong side, it's on the left side. Okay, but I want it to be in the radius, that's pi over four. Is that okay, is pi over four okay? Yeah. Yeah, why? Because one fourth is between negative half and positive half. A quarter is between negative half and a positive half. Now again, I'm hoping right now you guys can, and I know some of you guys like to participate, some of you guys like to be quiet, that's cool, but if you can't say it out loud in your head, okay, answer this. Hopefully you can answer this very, 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 very quickly. What is the sign of pi over four? Two over two. two over two. So it's working backwards, okay? You know what the tangent of zero is? Zero. You know what the sine of three pi, negative pi over two is? Negative one. Okay. Twenty-one. Just a few more. Two more. Inverse tangent of radical three. Now, how many times do you have to write it out in words? As many times as it takes for you to have it memorized. Okay. So if you have it memorized, stop writing it. If you don't have it memorized, keep writing it. The tangent of what angle? radical 3. So there's two spots on a unit circle where tangent is radical 3. 60 degrees, 60 degrees and what, 240? What's wrong with 240? It's on the left side. You can't look at the left side. Okay, 60 degrees is pi over 3. Is that okay or not? Don't say yes because I circled it. Why? Because one third is between. Now what if we renamed it? What if we rename it? Instead of going uh, one third this way, we could have went. That would be five thirds, negative five thirds. Careful. You're close, but totally wrong. It's not too big. It's too small. Yeah. Okay, it's too small. Negative five thirds is smaller than negative half. Five. Twenty-three. Last one I'm going to do with you guys. Inverse cosine of negative radical three over two. Okay. So there are two spots where cosine is radical three over two. Negative radical three over two. Okay. And it was what? Two ten and one fifty. Was it? Okay. Which one are we going to keep? 210 is on the bottom. That'd be 150. And that's 5 pi over 6. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Wait a minute. It's bigger than a half. But it's, no, because it's the cosine. Right. I'm looking at the wrong one. The cosine's got to be between 0 and 1 pi. And 5 6 is in there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do is this, okay? Here's your homework, either in class now or tomorrow during virtual day. You guys can fill in the even until we skip. But if you can answer this one, if you can answer this one, fantastic, okay? And we're going to use this on Thursday when, when we start talking about questions uh, 37 and so forth, okay? You can't use a unit circle on this one. What's that? If you can answer this, you've got a really, really solid understanding of this right now. The unit circle is not going to help you right now. The inverse sine of 480. Of what? 480. That's 80. That's huh? That's 980. So, sine has to be on the right side. It's leading it fully to... To pi. To pi. To pi. What is this saying right here? If you know how to say it and you think back to the first week of school, you don't have the answer. What does that say there? The sine of what angle equals four? What do you mean? It's not in a unit circle, I agree. I don't know. Cosine of sine Sine of what angle equals four? What did I just draw right there? That's a huge clue right there. What? What do you mean? When is sine four? Never. never. What's the biggest sine can ever get to? 
One. What's the lowest never get to? Negative one. Negative one. If you grab the calculator, type the inverse sign of four, you know what's going to say? Error. Error. It doesn't know what you're talking about. They're saying one can sign equal four. It can't ever equal four. Okay. How about negative four? Can't, how about point four? Could it? Could, is that possible? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but why is point four okay? Between one and negative one. I have no idea what the inverse sign of point four is, but it's possible. Okay. All right, good. All right, so you guys got six questions. You can either work on them now or you can work on them tomorrow. But we'll work on questions 37 through 40, 52 tomorrow. Or